All right, hello everyone. Pretty excited because today I received my Ecotech Marine battery backup unit for my mini reef aquarium project. Just gathering the materials right now and uh, was quite happy to have received this today. And uh, this thing is pretty darn hefty. Uh, I've dealt with batteries before and battery backups for computer systems, but uh, this sucker is uh, pretty hefty. Looks like it's pretty well packaged here. And the box comes along with the power cable, foam. Looks like we got the uh, AC adapter, additional cables. I understand that this unit is proprietary for the Ecotech pumps specifically. Got a couple of MP10s I'll be running, so they should work well here. All right, that's all the materials we have in the box. Our instruction manual. And uh, here in South Florida, we have uh, occasional power blackouts. Have hurricanes down here. And uh, according to the instructions, this battery backup unit will enable me to run uh, one MP10 pump for a total of three days, 72 hours, which is pretty impressive. Uh, very few power blackouts I've had here that have extended beyond three days in Florida, if any at all. And if I choose to use my two MP10s, I get a 36-hour period, or a day and a half. Uh, MP40s, likewise, you have the uh, duration where one or two pumps will run. 36 hours for one unit, 18 hours for two, and the much larger MP60s, a single battery unit, 20 hours, two units, 10 hours. Looks like it has some basic setup instructions. Looks like you can also daisy chain more than one unit together to give a longer duration of battery backup power. One thing I noticed here is that it looks like it recommends having the unit operate at an optimal temperature of 70 degrees or in an environment within which it's uh, maintained at 70 degrees. I was thinking to mount this unit in the cabinet um, underneath the aquarium, but uh, with everything else I'll be running there, uh, the electricity station there, I think it's going to be too warm. I might have to place this unit outside the cabinet. I'll have to figure that part out. Go ahead and take a look at the uh, components here. All right. Basic uh, power brick power cord connects in to the power brick. Let's go ahead and get these foam uh, protectors off of the unit. Wow, yeah this is certainly hefty. Okay. All right, so basically, that's it. It does have some screw holes around the edges, so it could be mounted. But uh, very happy to have this here. Would hate to jeopardize the well-being of uh, my aquarium once it's established, then to lose power and start to lose all the life in there. All right, so it looks like we've got two outputs to either pumps or another battery. This is a 12 volt DC connector. So there you have it. Looking forward, I'll provide another video once I've got everything connected and uh, show you how I've gone to get that done. Thanks very much and take care.